Hi. Welcome to Cult Films. Beware. Horror lies ahead. Uh, the movie on. begins in an auction house as a bidding war takes place for a beautiful sculpture called the Wrath of the Arenas. A blonde woman named Kate wins the bid against very competitive opponents. Kate gets back home. She takes off her red high heel shoes and opens a bottle of champagne in the mood of celebrating her new acquisition. The doorbell rings, it's Bruce, one of the participants in the auction. He tells her that his clients insisted on offering the double she paid and 25,000 extra for the wrath of the Arenas. She invites him in, and serves him a cup of champagne, his hands start to tremble as he sees a hooded owl-like figure in a red room. He attacks Kate from behind with a sharp object slowly killing her while the owl-like figure watches. She lies dead on the floor. He learned that lesson last time. Then we meet Meredith who is the museum curator. She tells her friends that she is going on a hot getaway with a new guy she had recently met. I'm getting laid. <gasps> Bruce? <laughs> Bruce picks her up from her house and then they drive away as they chat about their past relationships. Bruce reveals to her that he had lost his parents when he was a kid as they get to know themselves a little better. As the day turns into night, they arrive to a cabin in the middle of the woods. She enters and notices that it is a very nice cabin, decorated with art and with the wrath of the Arena sculpture in the middle of the room. I, I can't believe you have this, it's a really expensive piece. She suspects of him for having it, but he tells her that it is a copy of the original. Wow. You look... stunning. He offers her a red wine and they have a toast of the night ahead of them. Meredith goes through Bruce's things as he prepares dinner she finds an old Polaroid photo of Leonora. Suddenly the music stops, she goes to check the turntable and she scares herself with a weird reflection in the window. She takes a photo of the sculpture and sends it to her museum friends asking for the authentication of that piece. He tells her that the dinner is ready, they go to eat as a sinister presence looks at them from the woods. Meredith seems very uncomfortable while they are having dinner and starts questioning him about the cabin. He tells her to relax so that way she can enjoy too. She then questions him about Leonora, to which he replies that she used to own the place and that nothing weird had ever happened there. Bruce goes to the kitchen. Holy shit, holy Meredith shit, holy gets shit. scared and tells Bruce that she saw someone on the patio. He grabs a knife and proceeds to the patio to check. They find nothing and return to the cabin. Wine and drink. Okay, I... Okay. We're fine. Things get tense when Meredith tells Bruce that she wants to go back to the city. He gets offended because he prepared dinner for her and she barely touched it. Bruce keeps pointing the knife at her while speaking. Meredith gets a call from Wendy her friend at the museum telling her to get out of the cabin. The hooded owl figure appears to Bruce. He looks at it in awe. He tells it that it's time and he grabs the sharp weapon. The police are still investigating. Wendy tells her that the sculpture is in fact the original that was stolen and that the owner had disappeared too. He tries to attack her from behind, but she struggles and runs away from him. She slips and he grabs her by her back and slashes her neck offering her to the owl creature who witnessed the scene. He burns her clothes in the chimney and throws her cell phone in the kitchen garbage. She lies seemingly dead on the floor with her red lingerie as he tells her that this is his favorite part. She opens her eyes and is him in the head with the sculpture. Next morning she kisses him and they fool around together romantically. He tells her about his dreams. She sees Kate behind him and tells him that all his secrets are escaping. He was hallucinating. He is in fact lying on the floor losing a lot of blood badly wounded. He stands up and checks himself in the mirror. He tries to fix his broken skull. He grabs a fireplace poker and starts looking everywhere for Meredith. He goes deep into the forest and starts digging for some barrels where he keeps his victims' bodies, including Kate's. A Doberman comes out of one of the barrels and starts chasing him through the forest. The Doberman shifts into having Kate's face as Bruce looks in horror. He starts being haunted in the forest tormented by devilish hallucinations and unable to find Meredith. A masked woman appears in his dream turned to nightmare and he runs to the car. He tries to drive away but crashes into a tree. Kate and a sinister tree figure look at him while he tries to fix his car. They won't let him get away in the car so he locks himself in the cabin. The three figures torment him while he hides inside the house. He reclaims and says that the demon won't get nothing from him and that he won't be scared to endure the nightmares and hallucinations. He sees Kate seating on top of his chimney, burning her flesh. He continues to have terrible hallucinations as he convulses on the floor. He wets his pants and drools foam out of his mouth. He grabs the sculpture and offers it to the forest creatures as he apologizes for his murderous ways with the hopes of stopping his torment. 
The music suddenly starts and the owl figure appears accompanied by two sinister figures. They take the mask off the owl. His face is like a bright red sea creature with two blue eyes. Can you hear me? He then is woken up by the masked figure. She interrogates him about his past murders. He confesses that he has killed two more women and that they are buried in the woods. And he had to call you off so he could- He tells her that he didn't mean to kill her, that it was the owl figure. As snakes crawl over her body she asks her to dig in his skull. He takes out a piece of brain resembling a fetus duckling. He wakes up from the dream and covers himself with sheets. He goes out to the forest and is stopped by the tormenting figures who call out him out as a murderer and a thief. Bruce in a state of torment starts slashing his own neck as he asks for forgiveness. The masked woman is revealed to be Meredith. She tells him to F off while he slowly bleeds out on the ground. Comments. A wounded fawn. Mythology and psychological horror. A man that murdered woman and his downfall at the hands of his own demons. The movie splits into three different acts. It pays homage to the world of art as it tries to depict the scene from the sculpture The Wrath of the Arenas, the three taking vengeance from an unjust man. The characters are well written and they manage to create high doses of tension as the movie progresses. Meredith finds out that sweet and charming Bruce slowly turns into a sinister killer, influenced by an owl-like demon that demands of him the blood of beautiful woman. All of this tied up in a very nice cinematography package with good music, cool sound design, a creepy cabin in the woods atmosphere. The acting is good, Bruce produces lots of tension, when he speaks holding the knife on his hands is very intimidating. This deranged killer finally getting justice for his crimes. Be sure to check out this Shudder original film. But, thanks for watching, please like, follow and subscribe, watch out and take care.